Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing what they secretly want to tell you spread for all of my Aquarius out there. So, let's get after it. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Summer Rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising Venus and Jupiter. Summer Rising Venus and Jupiter. Shoulder cards I need to see. Shoulder cards I need to see. What do they secretly want to tell all of my Aquarius out there? What do they secretly want to tell all of my Aquarius out there? There you go. First, one, two. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Okay, cool. So here we go here. Uh, first up, we are dealing with Knight of Swords energy here. So <clears throat> Knight of Swords energy is a is a bit of um a, a bit of a fast quick moving energy possibly an it's possibly an air sign individual here gemini libra or an, or an aquarius energy here um or they have the attributes of an air sign individual here uh this is an individual that's moving rapidly towards their passion so in other words this is a person that acts first and then thinks later all right and that's only because they're just rapidly moving towards their passions here now with this situation, with things being the way that they are here with this situation, um, <clears throat> the reason that they're moving rapidly towards their past is because here we got the Four of Cups energy here. So this is a person that has attempted to offer you their cup of love in the past, okay? <clears throat> but for whatever reason, um, it just wasn't, uh, at that maybe at that particular time, you just weren't interested in pursuing uh, pursuing anything with this individual. And as of late, we have uh, an eight of wands situation. This person has been sending you an awful lot of, of, of text messages, uh, uh, Twitter, you know, hitting up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all across all social media platforms. Um, and really sending a whole, really trying rapidly to get in contact with, to open up communications again. Now, whatever the case may be here, there seems to have been some traction here with this individual because the will of fortune is beginning to move in their favor. So maybe it's, it's something, or at least, or at least they feel as though that the will of fortune is beginning to move in their favor because, um, you're responding to them, okay? They're they're getting they're getting the, the the conversation that they've been seeking. Now again, you know, um, you know, <clears throat> I don't I don't feel anything nefarious here. Uh, I I just I do feel a, a deep amount of obsession here. Uh, this person, the way they're looking at the situation, is like the star card here. There's a sense of renewal. A renewal, a rebirth, a replenishment. So they think, hey, you know, things are beginning to move uh, in a favorable direction. Again, we're, we're back on track where we need to be here. This person is thinking long-term committed relationship, possible marriage in the future here. They feel like all they have to do here is just hold on and they'll have a short success with the four of uh, pentacles there. Okay? But even still, even though they're beginning to get some traction, things are beginning to go that way. We still got the Eight of Swords here, where this person still feels like their hands are kind of tied behind their back. And they're kind of limited in their ability to make the movements they want to make. So, in other words, this person's been holding back quite a bit. I mean, they, they really just want to go for it here. So, that being said here, let's... let's, let's um. <clears throat> Let's see what kind of potential blockages we're talking about here with this situation. What kind of potential, what kind of potential blockages are we dealing with here? I'd be interested to see what those blockages potentially could be. What are potential blockages to this situation? What are the potential blockages to this situation? Some of the cards I need to see. Some of the cards I need to see. Some of the cards that I need to see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Mm, okay. Lord have mercy. Okay. Wow. So let me take a drink of this. Let's break this baby down. So, first up, we got the 
King of Pentacles. So, again, these are the blockages keeping you guys from being together. So, King of Pentacles representing a situation where there's definitely a very down-to-earth groundedness here to this situation. But it seems as if, you know, you're, you're looking to make wise decisions when it comes in terms of your finances. So... That's one thing here that's kind of, you know, keeping you guys, keeping you from pursuing this relationship here, a blockage, if you will. You're really focusing in on your pinnacles at this point, making wise choices when it comes to savings and, you know, building a, a strong foundation for yourself when it comes to your finances. Okay. Second thing is possibly the most important card of this whole spread here is this. You're looking for love. Okay. Ace of Cups. You're looking for love, and this person is not it. Um, this person is not it at all. You're looking to have a, 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 a deep, a, a true, deep, solid love here. Um, <clears throat> and that's a big, that's a big block is to have in a situation where someone is obsessing over you. Okay, so that's that's problematic in and of itself. We also have the hangman here. Hangman means that um, you know, you know, you're not willing to kind of slow things down if things start getting out of hand. Now, I guess at this particular juncture, you have felt as though, hey, I can open up the lines of communication again. It's not a big deal, you know, because you don't feel um, threatened in any way by the situation. But you know, you know what you're looking for, um, and I'll just say, as long as you know what you're looking for. Um, you know, because with this situation, you know, the energies I was picking up from that situation, from that individual was the fact that there was a, a, a tremendous amount of desperation there, okay? Almost borderline on, on obsession. So, I don't know how closely I would bring them in, per se. Um, also, we got the Page of Wands here. Page of Wands here. Uh, represents a situation where you're looking to have new experiences. So you're looking for that that for for new exploratory energies. You're, you're kind of putting new exploratory energies out there. So you you want to kind of do something different, something new. Okay, looking for a, a, a new uh, a, a new ways of looking at things. So you just want to experience something new, something fresh. Okay, you're kind of in an exploratory mode at this at this particular juncture because. There's a feeling that you're going to find your true love interest um, from something new, something you've never seen before, experienced before. All right, and you're pretty clear with the Ace of Swords. You're pretty clear-minded about that particular. Um, you're pretty. You're pretty clear about that particular course of action, that particular path. Okay, with the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, very clear-minded, crystal clear. Okay. No mental blockages, nothing holding you holding you back. Intellectually, you know exactly what you want to do. Um, again, you're looking to have those that the, the, the undercurrent, that spark of romance, like a rebirth, a renewal, if you will, because you're looking for a twin flame connection. So um, you're on basically a a quest, if you will, of the heart. Um, and this person, <clears throat> um, doesn't, doesn't really represent something that you're interested in this particular time. So, um, I suspect maybe you ought to communicate that and, or if you can just keep this person at bay for a little bit or keep them contained and everything will end up being okay. then that's one thing I do feel like, uh, Communication would be key here in this situation. <clears throat> what additional information do you want to give? What additional information does Spirit wants to give? <clears throat> Swimming cards. Ooh, I need to see. I'm going to pick that one up for sure. All right, there you go. Hmm. So, pretty straightforward. Friction. Spirit wants to let you know that there's definitely some friction there with this situation with this person. Uh, potentially, you know, potentially uh, problematic here if, if this keeps on going the way that it's going. Because this person, um, this person is, is you have uh, preservation here. At this point, you know, 
this person is trying to hold on to this uh, this hope that you guys are going to have uh, have this meaningful relationship here. And it's just, they're just holding on by, by a thin string, you know, to this situation. Um, that's the only thing really pretty much keeping them grounded here. So I think it would be ideal, especially times like this, you know, with, with things still being the way they are. It's incumbent upon you to um, to inform this individual to some extent as soon as possible to let them know, you know, we're just going to be friends and we're not going to be any more than that. OK, um, the spirit also acknowledges that you're in a sense of renewal here. You want to re you're you're in a sense of to, to, to renew and restore your faith in, 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 in romantic interest and also balance the two both financial interest and romantic interest together and you're kind of looking to do it differently or you know maybe possibly a, a, a different area possibly maybe a different ethnicity or different culture but you're looking for something different there is exploratory there's definitely an exploratory spark that's lit within you you're kind of you want to kind of diversify a little bit, you know, do something different. And so that's why it's important that you let this individual know as soon as possible what's going on so you don't get yourself jammed up. Here. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down now. This is a general love reading. It may not resonate with everyone, okay? But if it does resonate with you and you want to know more about this particular situation, I will leave a link down in the description box below. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's fine too. Just take those parts of this reading that do and disregard the rest also, if you haven't already, please like, please share, and absolutely subscribe. It really helps the channel, but more importantly, it helps the algorithm really pick up on the type of people that are watching this type of video and kind of disperse it out there to others that may be interested in this form of interesting tarot reading style that I have. So, thanks in advance for that. My name is Adonis. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.